Concluding this session, let's just revisit a number of important insights. One is, first of all, we are people after all. We have similarities and we have differences and they oftentimes are a source of conflict. What I want you to, to understand is that teams that manage conflict well typically outperform others that avoid conflict. If your team is one that says everything is fine, everything is fine, everything is fine, which many of my student teams will be saying, um, they typically are the ones that perform weaker in the end presentation that they're doing. Why? Because they have glossed over some important sources of conflict and they haven't dug deeper into why they might have different on, in opinions. From the investigative negotiation piece, you should have understood, and I hope that you that came through for you, is that the investigative mode is much more helpful than the advocacy mode. And oftentimes people try to compromise and they think that compromise is a virtue. Oftentimes compromise is not a virtue. It is understanding the different perspectives which helps you to unearth and make the team work better. It's trying to understand where people are coming from. And oftentimes also in teams, creating an atmosphere where uh, psychological safety is there, where people can voice differences and opinions and where they feel comfortable taking different perspectives, maybe just for the sake of it. And once you are able to do that, once you're able to investigate in that sense, when you're tr trying to understand what is a better potential solution to this problem, then you come out with better, better products, services, solutions to everything. And that is very critical to understand for excellence in teams. Conflict typically is conflictual and difficult to have at a personal level. So we distinguish between task-related conflict and personal or relational conflict. People want to avoid the relational conflict for good reason. Nobody likes it. It doesn't enhance us. We're, we're oftentimes feeling worse off. What I hope that you learn from the dignity uh, talk by Donna Hicks is that there is such a thing as, as being valued as a human being that we all cherish. The large conflicts of our time, the large international conflicts, are also, if they're going to be solved, according to Donna Hicks and, and in her work, only when people recognize the inherent value, the inherent dignity of each other. If you're trying to put somebody else down, if you're trying to sort of showcase that you are better than they, that your solution is better than their solution, oftentimes people will say, no, I don't want to hear it. Your advocacy mode is not helpful. It's a win-lose setup. If you recall, the inquiry mode versus the advocacy mode can be helpful. And it's not a natural way to be. It's not a natural way of having team conversations. It's actually an unnatural way. And that's what I'm hoping that you can learn because what is unnatural in some way and works better is something that we can learn. So we need to look at that. We need to understand the sources of conflict. We need to be aware of where the differences can come from and then have an investigative mindset, an inquiry-based mindset with which we can understand differences better. And it's important to do that. It's not a bad thing. Conflict resolution is a good thing. Conflict is a good thing. In fact, conflict is neutral. It just happens all the time. We make it either bad or good. The biggest problem for teams and organizations in terms of perceiving and achieving excellence is that the teams that are mediocre are typically the ones that avoid conflict. The teams that are excellent are trying to understand the sources of conflict and then address them. So I hope that with this uh, overall perspective, with this session today, you've gotten a little bit more comfortable with this notion of conflict and negotiation and trying to understand how this can be helpful in advancing your teamwork, your teams, the ones that you are part of, and understand that, you know what, conflict is neutral. It is not bad, not good. It is what you make it. And it can be the source of excellence.